Hey guys, well, the Isaiah Jig is back here again for another unboxing video. Man, it's been a while since we've done an unboxing video on this channel. The last time I did an unboxing video was probably around like in April. Uh, that was like two months ago. Yeah, it was two months ago because. I, the last unboxing video I did was actually Douglas, but since my birthday passed, I have a late, I have a late belated birthday gift. Even I some, here's some late birthday present I also got. Huh. More money, obviously, since who loves money? And I got a McDonald's gift card of fifteen dollars. Yep, I'm pretty happy about it. But today, we'll be on unboxing the main thing. He'll be the piece of the cake we're gonna open. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Thomas Mo Thomas Motorized Talking Thomas, the 2021 that came in Annie and Clarabelle. So yeah, that was my birthday gift. Well, a late belated birthday gift because my birthday already passed and it was June 1st. So yeah, one of the teams my school actually gave me this. What I'm very happy for. So, is actually this patent thing came from Amazon. And I can't believe it all came with different languages. I thought I'm gonna be a talking origins girl, or I'm gonna be screwed. But thank God it's this. So, before we can check out the history of this item, no, yeah, let's look at the packaging first. So, we have this in two different languages. Talking Thomas, and I think they're the Mortalized Loco. With the presently, when they make all within Skull Mortalized, they kept the local the same, which I don't know why. And here, and here the Thomas promo, how he looked in the Mirror era or the Brenda era, I think. This is Buzz is Try Me. Oh, here are any club, but we're gonna look at them later. And here's James with Thomas. I'm picking up cargo. Hi, James. How are you doing? There's the Fitz of Price logo and the Tom Defense logo. Whoops. And here at the back, here at the more energy you can collect, we have Gordon, Diesel, and then James. I may get these ones one day. I mean, the one I wanted the most was Gordon because I wanted that Express Cup so badly. But I may also get James and Diesel. I mean, Trevor David does have those, but he give like the engines away to charity. And I think Gilbert, my good friend, I think he also have one of those. I think. Yeah, he has like the James and two other express coaches. I I plan to get some of them, maybe soon actually. Because to tell you the truth, back around like in August of 2022, I did saw all of them in my local Target before I had the talking all of them go. And I was going to buy one of those, but I didn't have enough money to afford one. And now I have one of them right in my hands. Ten, ten months later, and now I own one of those. Hopefully the next one I'm going to get will be Gordon, because I express coach. So yeah, we're also going to compare and contrast to... We're also going to compare and contrast to... This are the talking Thomas I got back in Christmas of 2020. And we're also going to compare and contrast to... Whoops. The, uh, Motorized Annie Club of, of 2020 I also got. 
Now, before we unbox this, let me give you a bit of history on, on these talking items. So, they were made around like 2021, around the same time when they made like the, yeah, the Henley and Winston, Percy and the Tanker, and the Thomas and Terrence pack. With that time, the hat came with Thomas and Terrence that got back in October 2022. But, anyways, they were. When Mattel announced them back in around 2021, we were very happy. And these, these are very well in stores, but too good to lad. Because around the exact same time period, they also announced the All Winds Go, which I'm very surprised. I mean, you can still buy these on Amazon. They make like Talking All Winds Go way one. Now they up to way two. I mean, for the All Winds Go ones, they had made Thomas, Nia, and uh. Kana. Now they're also making way and another for the Thomas. They didn't make Percy. But without wasting any more time, let's unbox this bad boy, shall we? Okay. This is gonna take a while over here. Not my sister's me. Hold on guys. Okay, now it's time to slide it out. Okay, we got one out. Now it's time for step two to get this out. Okay. Yeah, this is quite challenging. Oh, that that was easy. That was easy as pie to uh, get in and out. Now, okay, before we do look at the item, we have the instructions. Uh, we're not gonna look at the instructions because. Who really cares about the instructions anyway? Okay, so we have the whole entire item out of the box. It took like, it took like three minutes to get the whole thing out of the box. Okay, before we look at any clip, let's look at a number one engine, Thomas. So Thomas here? This Thomas here looks very interesting. Everyone knew it was announced back like three and a half years ago. Okay, so first off we're gonna look at that is the face. The face looks very interesting. It looks like he came up on an avalanche crash or something. Like, I actually love the face on it. Man, it's like these ones. These like Mark and the Arrow. Kinda like how King the Railway and Porter was in Trap Master for the Pride before Trap Master 2. Anyways, the design right here, I love how Mattel made that. I love like the detail they get to this. It looked like Thomas was involved in some kind of development of like these rock slides. And his number one was cover. With this dairy, is it more cover on the other side than this side? I can probably tell. My like, this is a pretty amazing Thomas that we ever have. Like, I think that this child represents from Soto's Land of the Lost Treasure, I think. I could be right or wrong about this, but tell me in the comments below. Even the wheels, I do love those wheels. I think it's like a blue, gray, is black, is color on the wheels. Even the bottom chassis right here, that now you've seen every day. 
because most of these like trap meta 2 and motorite engines, all the chatties are black. They actually get Thomas like this brown chassis. I wish some other engine has a more color chassis too, but this is what we have to deal with. I do love that Thomas. I'm very glad I have this Thomas now in my collection. More Toms in my collection. Man, what a day. Let's just compare this Thomas to my other talking Thomas that that came with the Thomas talking train set when I got back in Christmas of 2020. So, differences of the face. The face on this one is more clean. The new one I got is more dirty. And I can't forget about the running bar. The running bar in the 2021 is more of a red, but the the 2021 has is more like a reddish brownish running board. Let's flip to the side. The one everything here is squeaky clean, but this one. It's all dirty, and the water's being covered. Same thing with the other side. And as for the chassis, this one is black, while this one is a brown. The backs, nothing really special about the backs. So yeah, Another thing I like about when Mattel released the, this Thomas is that they try to represent Thomas' new design in season 23 during the Blobber era. I actually love this Thomas. They should have made how this Thomas was back in 2015, but since then they lost Tresta because the one got covered after he found the pirate ship and later won the reboot. Thomas' number did get covered by red paint. <laughs> so, that's Thomas at the side. Now I just look at his coaches. Annie and Clapout. So, I actually like the Annie and Clapout. Because, for one thing, when never see like an Annie Clapout like in this mess, like, I think that's with some rock sand on them. And the bottom chassis are like in a muddy brown along with the wheels. That's it's pretty interesting about Andy and Club out. I wish there was like a Tommy or a tr old trap master one. But what anything about these Andy Club out is this. Look. You can slide these to add like patterns inside of the windows. That is pretty cool. And when you slide them back, no pathness in it. But the thing I don't like about those is the pathness in them. Like, all went and go pathness. I think they're trying to target it like the GDI fans and the Reboot fans of All Might and Skull RG. Heck, even All Might and Skull, the top and hat is an Annie. Even though, like. Even though the Annie and Clapper are in GDI. So, let's compare those Annie Clapper to last year's Annie Clapper from 2020. The front heel. Nothing different about them. Side. Nothing made of a different either. Back. Same thing with the other side. There's nothing that much of a different of these ones. Let me just connect Thomas to any club bell. And let me connect this ending club with the Thomas. Whoops, wrong way.
So overall, what do I think about the Motorized Thomas from 2021? Actually, I do like this Thomas. It's actually a pretty good model. Well, do I have any complaints about the model? There's only one complaint I have about those. It would have to be the patterns in the silhouettes of when you slide them was all engines go patterns. Like, I think that, like, Matthew's metallic is gonna, like, oh, let us start making all of this go. That way, we can wipe out all of this go and wipe these out in stores. Honestly, I do not like Mattel's doing to our number one engine. Like, just recently now, besides trying to ban Kim and Austin with attending their atomic defense, like, they now trying to, like, uh, they like trying to like um. They like now trying to like the ban. They like trying to like the block like some times episodes and movies like on YouTube. Like they block like half of the series like on YouTube. <sighs> like honestly, same thing with the Shining Time Stasis ones and they're owned by Mattel, but they did not like block like the, the talks ones. Like so honestly, I swear. Like, if Mattel block all Tommy stuff on, on, like, on YouTube, then Mattel gonna see what's gonna come to them. Like, honestly, the only way to gonna walk like Tommy now is, like, um, Dirty Motion, Free Cartoon, and also, like, buying the DVDs and watching Amazon Prime. Like, I can't watch my favorite episode of movies on it anymore. Mattel taking all the stuff that we love. Like, Mattel, like Charles in that video, you do own the footage. But that doesn't mean you own a wooded own nostalgia. Like the only good thing Mattel ever did to us last year was this. No, the wooden way twenty twenty two. But don't worry you guys. I'm gonna buy more of these wooden way and the future, both twenty twenty two and the older ones. But honestly on the positive on things I let you like the Thomas. Am I waiting on this? Will have to be out of nine out of ten stars because this Thomas is actually a pretty amazing item, and I highly recommend it. You can still buy this Thomas on Amazon, but not the REG Talking Thomas. So, uh, yeah. Now, before we have to do sign off, let's hear Thomas' cat phrases. Hi, everyone. Hello, oh, what this? I have Percy and Tom and Thomas from twenty twenty. So. What you can do with these is they can also react and talk to. So let's try it again. Well, honestly, if this could have still continued with GDI Trap Master 2, and they can make, like, all of these go chat meta a separate range, then we couldn't have, like, a 2022 Percy or a Henry and Emily. But Mattel is like, nope, REG. Just REG and replaced it. But, yeah. So, guys, thank you for watching this unboxing video. And plus, stay tuned for more episodes of my, of my series and after this channel. And after two, stay tuned for the upcoming movie day soon, Justice for Sodor. So, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, you guys.